Okay, had to try this. It's a Starbucks hot dog cooker and an olive jar. corn dog cooker uh, made with uh, Pringles cans. Took the uh, outside of foil wrapper off of Pringles can with a uh, uh, the cutter. by cutting around the metal um, end and the uh, and cut down the uh, length the side of it so I end up with a flat sheet of uh, shiny paper that I used binder clips to hook to and opened uh, uh, can that was cut with an eye shape. Um, there's two pictures on a Pringles can, uh, two, two fronts and an ingredients back. Use the ingredients back as the connection point left that hooked. Starting at about two inch, inch and a half from uh, each end cut around the uh, can from from ingredients to ingredients side and then took a uh, cutter and uh, split the two pictures apart so that you get nice even Steven on both sides and use the binder clips, small ones, to hook the second one in for a cross support to hold it open. And uh, a little bit semi-cloudy, overcast sort of a day, but uh, Give it a shot. Let's see, uh, there were some concerns about if it would get too hot, it might explode the glass. So I put holes size enough to put the corn dog stick to, through, whatever, in uh, both lids with the uh, hole enlarger thing. And uh, that worked to uh, get the rough edges out off and uh, make the hole large enough to uh, get a corn stick uh, or a corn dog uh, stick through the hole. If I wanted to on the Starbucks one, I could have put. Uh, corn dog stick through through one of the hot dogs in this case I put decided well let's go for three frozen hot dogs and see if they uh, see if we can cook them in a Starbucks jar corn dog wouldn't quite fit in the in, end of a Starbucks jar so the Spanish olive jar gets selected for uh, corn dogs and the wieners being used. One of those Oscar Mayer uh, half of a 10 serving pack where they split them in half real nice. So I got two wieners left over in the thing. I could try another run at it maybe with sticks in them or something. But anyway, put it on the hood of the old truck and See if the sun uh, gets to it enough to 
cook it. It's about 10, 13 on a partly sunny day. I'm suspecting it's going to take hours probably to do it, but come back out and check in a bit. Rotate the uh, the uh, Pringle can cookers around so that uh, the shadows are at the back end of each can. I'm setting them up on end. Shouldn't matter whether you set them on the side or set them up on end. Ends a little stabler. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're checking on the hot dogs and corn dogs. Uh, 99 to 100 and something. Had gotten a little. There's 104. And uh, let's see, this one here, I rotated the dogs in this one. And looks like about 114. Now, to see the back of the uh, cookers. Simple enough. The uh, glass jar seems to intensify the uh, heat to keep it in pretty well. I suspect it's making the corn dog a little soggy. There's a lot of dew in the uh, jar there and the uh, hot dogs are accumulating moisture in the bottom of them so and let them go a little longer okay I'm saying it's done temperature says it's about 130 that and put the camera down and remove the cap from the bottle. Learned this before so where cooking can get hot. Okay. buns and stuff over and oh, this is a two-handed operation picture here okay there you go it is hot dogs out of the Starbucks and Pringles uh, solar cooker the type of uh, coffee jar I used was that one I removed all the labels and put a hole in the lid the temperature reached about 130 in the cooker and it was there for oh, about six hours 
I didn't think there was any danger of overcooking. Now we're going to check on the corn dog too. Uh, 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 uh. That one. Say it's cooked. I'm gonna put it between the two hot dogs. Let's see what the temperatures are right now. Down to about 110 or so. Okay, and that'll do for that one. I'm going to do a short one on uh, how to uh, uh, cut the can. Those are the Pringles cans, which if you look at them, the two faces. head the other guy's head and down to the label and then you go the other direction Jiggling the camera around a whole heck of a lot. Kind of the simplified version of where to cut it and where to cut it to. As you can see from the cookers, they're assembled. complete outside piece was cut and binder clipped onto the thing to spread those wings out. The idea of spreading the wings is to direct more sun to the jar that is put in the middle to retain the heat. Boom, boom. Putting the lid on the jar also helps, but that lid's currently on the end of the corn dog. Anyway, that's a uh, Pringles can, Starbucks, corn dog cooker. Back off a little there. Hmm.